Coming up this weekend, six young chefs are competing at the National NAACP Culinary Competition in Philadelphia and at stake, a $60,000 scholarship to the Culinary Institute of America. Joining us now is one of the six top chefs, Jocelyn Rojas, who is from right here in Prince George's County, and you just graduated from high school. Yes, I did. Congratulations. So tell me how you got involved in this, how you got involved into cooking. Well, actually, I... My father is a chef, so that's okay. why I mainly Comes get it. naturally. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just love watching the Food Network channel, and it just, it's a love of mine, so I can't go wrong. And so you are going to be making crepes today, yes. and that fits in the theme of what you had to make yes. in order to enter I the competition? I did a French theme. It was a French theme I made. Why'd you come up with a French theme? That seems like one of the tougher <laughs> uh, cuisines to try yes. and master. Well, actually, uh, I did take two years of French, so I am kind okay. of, not really fluent, but my French is a little rustic. But I just love the French cuisine and everything. It comes with French and everything. It's just amazing. I just love it. And it's good. You can't you can't knock that. And we've got Jacqueline Craig here also. You are her chef mentor and also yes. a chef at Howard University. When she said she wanted to do a French theme, were you like, wait, wait just a second? Oh, no, I was excited. <laughs> okay. That, that, that's some of the things that um, Sodexo inspired as a chef mentor for the program, that we inspire and enhance their ideas to make sure to give them the tools and the structure to make their cuisine, their idea, and their creation to pop yeah. and to get to where she is now. And to get into it uh, so young. You're so, you're so far ahead of the game. So you created some crepes yes. that you submitted for the competition. Yes. And then tell me how this all evolved and how you ended up going to Philly this weekend. I don't even know myself. I'm just as shocked as you are. Uh, so you had to just submit the initial uh, recipe? Yeah. Okay, and they said this is fantastic. Yeah. Well, she competed there. Um, and it was a local competition. It was okay. a local competition with five other um, students in the PG County um, area. Okay. And she was the winner of the local competition. So being the winner of the local competition, she gets to go to the national competition in Philly. And we're so proud of her. This and you're going with her, right? I'm going you're with her. I'm Philly moving too. on. Yes. All right, and so you're going to be making crepes whenever yes. you go this weekend? Yes. All right, show us this uh, right. special Jocelyn recipe. So oh, sorry. I'm going to get my stuff out of your way here. <laughs> I'm going to just start by turning off this pan and letting it get hot. Okay. And I love that you you brought crepes. I mean, it's breakfast time here, <laughs> so this is perfect. I'm going to be on by before I finish this. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to let this heat up. Okay. And you've got several different, are those fillings? Yes, this is actually my filling. It's a cream cheese and strawberry filling. Oh. And then this is my chocolate. Okay. And then I garnished it off with whipped cream. Okay. And then that was the finished product. We garnished it with okay, so down a here. strawberry fan. Yep. So, and these look gorgeous. Thank you. And so now what do you have on the other side over here? This uh -huh. is actually my entree that I'll be making. This is duck l'orange on a bed of oven roasted seasoned potato wedges with sauteed bandit carrots and garnished it with fresh orange sections. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. So we've got the pan heating up here. Yeah. We've got about one minute. It, but that's pretty much as, as much as we need for making yeah, grapes. It's a quick crepes. process. Go by really fast. Okay. So you've got the batter here already whipped up. Yep. And I love that you can make crepes either sweet or savory. Yes. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. very versatile. Yeah. So you just want a very thin layer yeah. in the pan there? That's actually what crepe stands for. Thin pancake for French. It's French. Oh, well, look at that. Learn something <laughs> new every day. <laughs> okay, that's what crepe stands for. All right, so while that's heating up, I will show okay. you how I actually made it. So okay. this is the filling. I just piped some on. And then. And that's the strawberry cheese, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Yes. Okay. And then. I take some of the chocolate. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Yes. And then I just fold it over like this. And then pipe some more. Oh, a second layer. <laughs> okay. And then more goodness. Yes. And then I just fold it. And then. And like at that. Yep. Nice and easy. Okay, so a little bit of a twist on rolling it up like we yep. sometimes tend to see it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, already she's got the grape here almost completely done. How long, I mean, what's the rule of thumb for how long you should leave it in the pan? Well, it depends. I like mine's a little bit more golden brown. Okay. They te take like less than a minute. Oh, yeah, it's they, fast. Yeah, it's really fast. Okay. All right. And just like that, she's done. Jocelyn, good luck to you this Thank weekend. You. Thanks for coming in and oh, sharing you your uh, treats with us. Look at Julie Wright. She, uh, <laughs> she goes for the entree instead of the mm -hmm. sweet that's stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the good stuff. Um, okay, well, say that's that's on. Oh, look at French. Yeah, they so, so good. Yeah, Do you know what uh, is a French for thin pancake? Crepe, crepe. <laughs> this is delicious. Yeah. Thank you. Good She's luck. She's really good. Try some of the crepe yeah. too. Best of luck to you this weekend in Philly. Uh, let us know how you do. Thank and you. when you're a, a famous chef, yeah. come back and cook for us oh, again. Right. Can we just take this and like, you know. There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>
Thank you guys both for coming in this morning.